Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to say hello real quickly. Uh, I just came from my doctor, um, the director, direct primary care one, and um, I'm so glad to see right away got that um, um, pulling my teeth um, was rather like um, the first option given rather than a, based on medical needs. She got it right away and um, she, she cautioned me to not like just do that um, because of the disorders that I have and that my jaw will um, disappear much faster and that it's okay to do it in steps. Um, I kind of am impressed by her um, like oversight insights actually because she right away pointed out of like um, instead of coordinating the care for me regarding my job and my kids and all the unit disorders, the doctors actually had me sign away. afterwards and this is exactly the same kind of thing why my jaw isn't there anymore this jaw joint um, could have been saved I believe if they hadn't been so incredibly um, bad with, with the, the care um, the, yeah so um, what I am tasked with is to be very careful for like a week to 10 days depending which um, procedure it is so my nose for example is much more painful and takes much longer than for example the <coughs> hysterectomy situation uh, but it doesn't mean that I shouldn't have this normal pain management and uh, antibiotics and um, yeah it's just a little bit um Um, of a thing that uh, in the, uh, the doctor at the doctor's hospital in Oakland or San Francisco, but I need to see a medical doctor first in order to get that referral. So I can either do that here in this area in two weeks, have an appointment, or um, in two and a half weeks in San Diego. And I will cancel one of the appointments, but um, I, I, I have to do it. Um, the doctor was even so much of like, can you not wait with this? I said, well, some of the teeth need to go, but that doesn't mean that um, all the teeth need to be going, especially because I actually cannot really have dentures afterwards. Um, that will definitely tear, like, tear down my jaw. And if we were talking about 40 years um, that my jaw would disappear, we're talking about 10 weeks to two years that then this jaw joint also will be gone. And I think there's the splintered jaw on this side through in my mouth that does continue to splinter. Um, and that's the same kind of with my hand that instead of like helping um, me with um, a little bit of a, uh, like more advanced technique for to save these two fingers they just wanted to go for like replacing all my knuckles with that actually setting it up for complete destruction of the whole hand instead of just the two fingers and again because 
that's their way of thinking. It's not taking my situation or my health or how weird the um, autoimmune disorder um, reacts in consideration, uh, nor taking my experience in account at all, um, or like my knowledge actually. And that's really concerning. So I'm really glad that I was able to visit a doctor that I pay to actually um, to really advocate for the best um, of my health, um, not just now, but like in a year or in two years and 10 years from now. And again, in the regular system, there is no space or it's not set up to have me live longer it's set up to address the situation in the moment right now and if that can be in the cheapest most evasive way they that that's the way and um hey where are we going Sorry, I'm lost a bit because we need to be on that road and we're sitting around this road. Um, this is like an area where there are like a lot of canals kind of um, uh, keeping the area um, good well while it also is being. Oh, I'm gonna step out there. Well, it's also being. Um, let me think. Used. Um, to like the water is actually being used to take to Los Angeles. This is their property. This is Los Angeles property. So that's why we cannot sleep here during the day, night because it is private property as opposed to the public land. Um, Eki, come swim. I found something by accident. Um, Eki, come on. Um, I can't really stop the thing. One second. Sorry, guys. I just went to the food bank and they have a new rule that they only give out food once a week on Wednesday, apparently. And that's exactly again that I absolutely cannot do. Um, I can't stand in line. I can't stand. Uh, with all these people, so physically and mentally, and yet for me, because I'm not um, a certain male, I guess, with certain disabilities, or with a mom that like, just stands up for me, it, it doesn't matter. It just, my disability or my need don't exist. I just need to do it, and if I, after that, I'm completely sick or hurt or not able to function for three weeks, that's my problem. That's not anyone else's problem. So then I went away and went to the Salvation Army. Yeah, yeah, look at you. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's find the water, it's my water. Look at you. Yeah, so, and then the Salvation Army, they um, also, they just give a standard back out. Um, hang on, let me put this car on the side because I'm pretty sure someone will show up to ensure that I have to move the car because that's kind of how they have the best control over me. Everything has to be interrupted. Um, let me... No, Bob, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just uh, parking it on the side because remember these people show up all the time. Like within five to fifteen minutes right now, and they will sure ensure that I have to drop everything to tailor to their needs, right? Because that's how they hold that control. Um, they were there, by the way, um, at the doctor's appointment as well, um, waiting for me when I came out. It's very creepy. So basically, whoever those fuckers are, they really go far to ensure that I don't get my care or that I get to the post office to pick up my package from Sister Margaret right now, for example, my aunt's godmother, um, or do anything really to survive. Um, they'll be there. And I, 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 I kind of get it now. I, it took me a little bit to 
um, believe that this actually could happen, but um, no, I. It's exactly the same what I had to do in Francisco. You just terrorize someone to death, basically. Oh, look at you! Look at you! Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. You're happy. You're happy. Look at you. So um, I'm really glad that um, I have the ability to see a doctor that I pay for. Um, but this is much as my bill for the, the, the cell phone. Um, and then she also is going to work on my jaw because she specialized in um, muscle and joint um, disorders. And so she wanted me to first, um, there they are. I told you they were going to show up. And these are exactly people who have the authority to move me out of the way. It's okay, Bob. I, I knew that they were going to show up. And again, they just casually happen to drive by. Every time, like... Good job, hi. It's too bad, eh? We just moved the car out of the way. Just two minutes too late. I know, Aki. So, um, this is kind of a new area. I think the road actually went on here before. That's why we drove over this way and then it actually gets me out of this area. But um, sometimes they um, have new things going on. Yes, she needs to dip a little bit. Here, Aki. Um, I'm going to place her over here. Actually, swim a little bit here. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can swim a little bit. Let's see. Good job. Sophie, Sophie, leave her alone. Sophie, Sophie, leave her alone. Yeah, good. I think it works. Yeah, see, it works. So, it doesn't always work. Um, I have to always kind of read her in the moment as well. Good job, Eki. <laughs> oh, you're looking good, Eki. So, um, she's not going to get much better than this. Um, but, um, she mentally is really just the same, so, and happy, and so, um, and she has not really a problem with the limitation. I give her water 24-7, like, around the clock, um, so, like, every 15 minutes, maybe, and then at night a little less, and then I move her around, um, as much as possible, and she's been quite happy which I'm kind of impressed about um, but 
most of it's all in her control, so that uh, she's never feeling like that she's stuck or um, has to wait for me. If she lets me know she needs water, I go get it right away. Or, um, but she rarely lets, has to let me know because I offer it to her in the, like on a frequent basis. Okay, good. Look, is there's some f things you can eat here. The uh, weather is sort of okay, but if you see that, um, that's the snow actually falling up there. And that is the Sierras. Let me see, where's the wind going? Hmm. Uh, we're in a, this is just the pets where there's not a lot of wind, but 